going to talk to you about rotation rules and how to rotate a figure about the coordinate plane. Now what I would first like to point out is this little image that I have here and the only reason that I have this on here is to show you that if you start at zero degrees which is here and I go a quarter of a turn I've gone 90 degrees clockwise. Well that's the same thing ending up here is the same thing as if I went 270 degrees counterclockwise. This point, point right here at 180 degrees is the same whether you go clockwise or if you go counterclockwise. And then if I end up here, that's 270 degrees clockwise if I go that way, but it's 90 degrees counterclockwise going this way. Now, the only reason I'm showing you this is just to remind you that 90 clockwise and 270 counterclockwise are the same, as well as 90 degrees counterclockwise and 270 degrees clockwise are the same figures are not always going to start at what I have at zero degrees here. So it's not going to be as simple as knowing that everything starts in the same place. A figure can start over here and you're rotating at 90 degrees down to here. So this is just to strictly show you um, the relationship between the degrees. So here are the rules and I also want to point out that rotation is always going to be counterclockwise unless otherwise stated. So if I said to rotate a figure 90 degrees, you should automatically know that I mean counterclockwise unless it's stated otherwise. So um, you might want to, I, um, you might want to note that if you're printing this or something, just note that this is 90 degrees counterclockwise, which is the same thing as 270 degrees clockwise. Um, so the rule for rotating 90 degrees counterclockwise is that you switch the x and the y coordinate then change the sign of the x. So if I have the example of 2 comma negative 4 I'm going to switch the x and the y so that makes it negative 4 comma 2. Then I change the sign of my x so this becomes positive 4. You have to flip-flop the x and the y first before you change the sign, okay? And then for 180 degrees, um, this rule is pretty simple because it's simply change the sign of x and y. So negative 2 becomes positive 2, positive 4 becomes negative 4 in this particular example. So um, negative 2 comma 4 rotated 180 degrees becomes 2 comma negative 4. Now 270 degrees um, is opposite of this rule here. And so this is 270 degrees counterclockwise, which remember is the same thing as, and again, I apologize for this awful handwriting. It, it writes bad when I'm recording. Um, so 270 degrees counterclockwise is the same thing as 90 degrees clockwise. So the rule here is to switch the X and the Y, but then change the sign of the Y. So notice that you're changing the sign it's different depending on the rotation. Okay, so for example, if you have two comma four, we're going to switch the x and the y, so this becomes four comma two, then change the sign of the y, so this becomes negative two. All right, so we're going to use those rules. I'm going to show you an example by rotating triangle LMN um, these various angle measures. Okay, so first we're going to start by rotating at 90 degrees counterclockwise. So these are the points. L is at three comma three. M is at 6 comma 3 and N is at 6 comma 7. So when I'm going to rotate at 90 degrees counterclockwise, the rule is to switch the X and the Y and then change the sign of the X. So this is going to become negative 3, it doesn't look like a 3 does it, negative 3 comma 3. Okay? Um, 6 comma 3, I swap my X and Y, change my sign of my X. So this is going to become negative 3 comma 6. And then for n prime, it's going to become negative 7, comma 6. I swap my x and y and then change the sign of the x. So now I'm going to plot these points. Um, so negative 3, comma 3, 1, 2, 3, it's going to be right here, and this is l prime. m prime is at negative 3, comma 6, which is right here. And n prime is at negative 7, comma 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here is n prime. And I'm going to connect the dots. Oops. Okay. 
and you can see 90 degrees counterclockwise, it's rotated about the origin, and so you can see that it's a quarter of a turn and it's rotated. Every point is rotated 90 degrees. All right, so now let's do 180 degrees. Um, the rule for 180 degrees is to change your sign, but remember, you're starting with these coordinates, not, not the ones that you already rotated, because we're rotating triangle LMN 180 degrees not the one that we've already rotated, not L prime, M prime, N prime, okay? So when I do that, um, L, L double prime becomes negative three comma negative three. M double prime becomes negative six comma negative three. And N double prime becomes negative six comma negative seven. So let's go ahead and plot these points. L double prime. M double prime. And N double prime is at negative six. And again, I'm going to draw my line. So you should notice that this is a this is rotated about the origin 180 degrees. So every point has been rotated 180 degrees. All right, now we're going to do a 270 degree rotation counterclockwise. And the rule here is that you switch your x and your y, but then you change the sign of your y. And again, we're using these points up here. So I'm going to swap my x and y, and then change the sign of the y. So this is going to be 3 comma negative 3. M triple prime is going to be 3 comma negative 6. And n triple prime is going to be 7 comma negative 6. And so I can look here at my coordinates, and I can tell that because they're all positive x's and negative y's that it's going to be here in this quadrant and you should know about where the figure is going to be. If you're going 270 degrees it should be about here anyway so kind of use um, reasonableness of your answer to see does that make sense should the triangle be here and yes it should be there. Okay so let's go ahead and graph those points so we got 3 negative 3 and that's L triple prime 3 negative 6 is right here and that is M triple prime and then N triple prime is at 7 um, negative 6 which is right here and so now let's draw our line There you go. So there's the figure rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise, 180 degrees counterclockwise, and 270 degrees counterclockwise.